Hey guys, it's Kevin at WatchHimTrade.com. Today's date is May 25th, 2015. It's Memorial Day. The market is closed, so I'm taking some time to review some charts. Right here, I am looking at PBMD, low price stock that just made an epic move this week. Probably the move of the year in sub $5 land. You can see went from under a dollar to $6 in a day and a half but I'm gonna show a minute chart to really put this in perspective and talk about what was going on here because volume was just incredible off of some gaps down get the right day pulled up alright so here you are this was May 20th it was Wednesday stock had gap down on the day had a wild after hour session first of all the day before closed around 160 this is on the 19th and you could see this after hours move went up from like 160 to 240s then the next day gap down gave up all that gain but then around 730 started gapping up opened around two dollars and it was just a straight up gap and go stock opened at two dollars never looked back higher lows higher highs throughout the sequence and just a massive rip I mean look at this volume and I caught some of this action live on film and posted it to my YouTube channel at watch him trade so check it out if you want to see it but then anyway so big time move on Wednesday went from two dollars three dollars all the way up to six but then you look on Thursday and you had a big gap down gap down like 30 percent and never really recovered market opened and she continued to trend down and then the next day she gapped down again was gapping down but this time she did recover and get back around three bucks before trailing off in the weekend and ending around three bucks so I would be watching the three dollar range now personally I don't like the stock I think you something's fishy here you went up a ton and then you came down a ton and volume also came out a lot just in looking at the daily chart you went from a 60 no sorry 80 million share day on Wednesday 90 million share day on Wednesday to then 22 million 24 million shares and the price dropped a ton so I feel like there was maybe some shady shenanigans on this day maybe some wash trading who knows what was going on that's just my personal feeling based on my experience maybe I'm completely wrong but at any rate you still got a setup here relative to three dollars and the stock still traded 25 million shares on Friday so liquidity is massive still it's just not as massive as it was on Wednesday so you can still get some good trades in here that's why I'm covering it you can see the range on Friday 290s on up to about four bucks that's a lot of range this is the type of stock that you know you can play and get in and out quickly without really having to worry about it the only thing you need to worry about is being stubborn and not cutting your losses quickly enough but if you want to get out you can because the spread is tight and the liquidity is there so what I would do right now trading wise I would just watch your three dollar level Watch your line in the sand at $3. Above $3, she can rally back up towards $4. Below $3, and she can go back down towards 2 to 250 and, you know, give up all of the move. And if you ever do come back below 2 bucks, which wouldn't surprise me, then it just looks like, you know, all bounces will be sold and she's making her way back down to a dollar. You have to hold $2 if you want bounces to start rallying. And if you really want to get going again, you need to get above the previous day's high, which on Friday was four bucks just about. So four dollars is the key resistance tomorrow. Whatever tomorrow's high ends up being, that'll be key resistance for Wednesday and so on and so forth throughout the rest of this week. So watch your three dollar level. That's what's going to dictate things right here, right now. You want to see liquidity staying around, you know, 15 to 20 million shares. If you start to drop off much more than that, then that signals to you that active traders are starting to look elsewhere for their plays.